Tornado Cash, a crypto mixing service provider, has allegedly been used to launder millions worth of cryptocurrencies and facilitated crypto transactions by such malicious agents as the Lazarus Group, a well-known North Korean backed hacker organization. But in short, it's simply a crypto service that allows users to conceal their identities. Tornado Cash may have seized its operations, but it has its alternatives. So let's check them out. ZK Money. It's a privacy app built on top of the Aztec network. It's a shielding service that allows people to trade, yield, and deposit money on the Aztec network. And while doing so, to have their transaction data encrypted, or in other words, made anonymous. By using off-chain architecture, whenever the user deposits funds, ZK Money issues encrypted notes. These funds get deposited in Aztec smart contracts. And having them set up, the user is ready to interact with protocols available on the chain. It's 5 Ether or 10,000 DAI at a time. The speed of withdrawal is a minor inconvenience. On Aztec Network, they publish rollups every 4 hours. Which means that every 4 hours, they publish a collection of transactions from the last 4 hours and present it as the final transaction. 0x tip. As the team behind 0x tip presents it, 0x tip features mixing private private bridging from Ethereum to Binance Chain, as well as off-chain transfers. According to them, if you use 0x tip, miners can't censor your transactions, because transactions are off-chain and funds are bridged to Binance Chain. But it's unusual. You press on this link to access the mixer and you discover that it's a Telegram bot where you can choose your actions through the chat. The system is accessible for those who already own some of the 0xMR cryptocurrency. You can exchange Ether into 0xMR on Uniswap, for example. But this is only the first part, and it's only where things get a bit eyebrow raising. You see, to use the system and deposit something in it, you have to exchange Ether into 0xMR, which means that you're doing it through the means provided by a system built on the Ethereum blockchain. If you want to withdraw some funds, you'll receive it in your Binance wallet. But in addition, it will cost you 50 0xMR for the gas fees and bridging and token mixing services. But before we go, if you get any value from our videos, please press that like button and subscribe to our channel. Now let's look at a Cyclone protocol and their multi-chain non-custodial privacy preserving service. Here you can deposit your assets on Ethereum, BSC, IOTX and Polygon. How it works is you deposit certain amounts of Ethereum alongside other particular tokens. The problem is that it's way more challenging to navigate than in previous examples. It provides several options with various pools to choose from, but to be honest, they don't look too trustworthy. The majority of these pools seem to have a very small number of total deposits. They're not actively used. It may be providing the crypto mixing service, but it may be less used, which means it could have scalability or technical problems because it may lack liquidity. And then we've got Unijoin. As they say, they help you maintain your anonymity by mixing your cryptos in a pool with other anonymity enthusiasts and receive untraceable coins using CoinJoin technology. I mean, it does have one immediate drawback. As for today, Unijoin only supports Bitcoin transactions. But if Treasury Department won't tear the entire sector into shreds, they may live on to achieve their plans to integrate Ethereum, Litecoin and Tether mixing services into its platforms. But to balance it out, I have to say Unijoin has a strong advantage. It's user friendliness. Then we've got Anonymix. As you can see, it has a completely different vibe that doesn't look super innocent. They are still running and the Department of Justice hasn't sanctioned them yet. Anonymix is popular because they offer many features and as a platform, it's quite beginner friendly. It's a high capacity mixer and it can handle over 180 Bitcoin simultaneously. Apart from that, they also provide the function of increasing the security of your mix. Here you can deposit from multiple wallets and send them to up to five receiving addresses after having your funds mixed. Last but not least, let's look at the chip mixer, one of the most popular and supposedly most reliable mixer. It's popular within the community because of how easy it is to navigate, because users have complete control of the mixing process. And as a cherry on top, they don't charge service fees. The platform allows users to operate with chip size ranging from 0.001 Bitcoin to 4.096 Bitcoin. Chip Mixer looks like a real working tool that provides users with many benefits. 
In conclusion, crypto mixers could be used for positive purposes, like sending out anonymous donations or, as it's been alleged, by malicious ones, like the case with money laundering. So, prohibiting companies that provide services like this is like banning knives. You can use them to cut an apple, while others may use them to participate in something more criminal. Tornado Cash is not the only crypto mixer that seized its operations recently. Blender.io, another prominent name in the sector, announced that they are voluntarily pulling the plug to halt their operations. Tornado Cash is an example of a service halted by intervention because of what kind of information came into the light. And we just don't know whether malicious actors have abused other companies and if Treasury Department is not investigating them yet. Please consider subscribing to our channel if you feel you're getting any value from our videos. We upload our content regularly and it would help us a lot to continue doing our work.